Eh, eh. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. Jesus Christ, dude, chill. I can't even get in the freaking tank this morning. No. Stop it. So I actually don't have my truck right now. It's actually getting buffed right now. So that way it gets that, you know, really shining glossy look to it. it it's going to look really nice. But for the time being, I'm with this little bitty Nissan Sentra. And uh, it's a cool little car, but it's just a really, really big adjustment going from like sitting up really high from like sitting really, really low in the car. Just thought I would mention that, but I'm actually about to head over to work right now and uh, find out what I'm going to be getting today for today's video. You guys know because it's tied on the thumbnail, but I don't. So uh, here we go. So I actually didn't get anything today, but I did order a package a few days ago and I just got a notification saying that it's at my house. So I'm actually headed to get my truck right now. So I'm gonna get out of this little bitty Sentra, get in the truck, then get home. And uh, yeah, you guys are gonna see what I ordered. Oh my gosh, there it is. Look at that bitch, look, it's so sexy. Well, it was fun driving you, buddy. Yes, sir, look at the rims. You do not even know how glad I am to get up out of that little bitty freaking car. Like I cannot stand like sitting down like this in the road and just looking around at people like I like being up high because like I can see everything up here but with that being said let's head home now and uh, open up that package so a few nights ago I was scrolling through YouTube and uh, you know a lot of times like products that you have recently searched will actually pop up on your YouTube recommended page like little bitty products well this wasn't something that I'd recently searched uh, so like I said I was just scrolling through YouTube videos on the recommended page and I see this little bitty tank and at first it just looks like a little bitty beta tank maybe with a little bitty LED hangover light but I start looking at it and it says that it has its own alarm clock. So I click on it, I start reading a little bit more about it, start looking into it a little bit more. And uh, for only 40 bucks, I was like, this is a cool little bitty fish tank. Now here's the thing, the company that made this is not a company that, you know, makes fish tanks. And it's not really designed to keep fish. Now I don't really know how big it is. I'm assuming it's about a gallon or so. I'm about to take it out of the box. It's still in the box and you guys are going to find out just how big it is as soon as I do. But check it out. So I ordered it from Amazon, like I said, a few nights ago. And uh, check this little bitty thing out. I mean, just look at that. That looks pretty dang cool. I mean, can it keep fish? I don't really know about that. Uh, we're gonna find out here in a second though and just see how big it is. USB desktop aquarium mini fish tank with running water. Now check this out. The like the output that actually puts the water back into the tank. Check it out. It looks like a little bitty faucet. Look at that. That's your light right there and it comes with a little bitty plant and a little bit of gravel. Uh, but apparently it has like little bitty LED lights built into the bottom of it as well. And then it's got these two little bitty pockets right here that you can basically put anything in there that are actually fit into it. But this is what really makes it the product that it is. So this is like the alarm clock, the date, and the temperature and all that. And uh, that's going to be the really, really cool part about this little bitty fish tank. Oh gosh, it's uh, I'd say it's packaged pretty well. Let's just turn it upside down and do it just there we go so it's uh it's pretty tiny um i don't i wouldn't say that that's a gallon and it's actually a little bit smaller than i thought it would be i knew it wouldn't be very big at all but it uh I expected it to be just a little bit bigger than this. So that's my hand compared to it, and my hand basically covers up this whole side of the tank. But let's not hate on it just yet, because we haven't really even got this thing halfway open. Here's the light right here. So it's uh, it's pretty small. You can see it's got six little bitty LEDs in there, which will be plenty bright enough to light up this whole entire tank. And I like what they did. You see how they made it reflective? That will actually help this light out. It will actually make this light a lot brighter than it would be if it was just like a regular black surface right here. And then look at the a little bitty faucet and I'm assuming that you can turn down the flow or like completely turn the flow off this is the gravel that came with it and uh, it's uh it's some pretty weird looking gravel I cannot lie got your little USB right here and uh, these are the two little bitty pockets that I was talking about that you can put you know basically anything in there like pens pencils you know whatever you need to put in there and then this right here is the little bitty screen you see it's got all these little bitty buttons right here mode set up down sound and uh, we're gonna check all that out here in just a second got your light switch right here and the motor switch which is just the pump and I'm assuming the way that this works is the water just goes through here and then it gets pumped back up through that tube 
look at that, you can actually see the water getting pumped back up and then it returns back out through the little bitty faucet thing. But this thing's pretty cool. I mean, would I recommend keeping fish in it? Probably not. It's not even a gallon. But I'm going to put some water in here. We're going to turn this thing on, check out all the lights, the alarm clock, all of that, and uh, just, you know, really see what this thing's all about. Gonna add the gravel, and uh, that is, like I said, some weird looking gravel. I've never seen any gravel looking like that. Now this would be a really, really good spot for it because it's right beside my bed, and I'll be able to hear the alarm clock every morning. But here's the problem. You ready, you ready? That ain't gonna work, okay? That is not gonna work. But I think the next best spot for it would be right here on this table right next to Chungus' tank. And the thing that makes this tank so easy and simple is that there's no wires. Look at this. There are no wires whatsoever. This thing is battery operated. It takes three AA batteries, which I'm about to go get right now, and uh, we're gonna get this thing all turned on. But yeah, that is really, really cool out. It's just portable like that. Look at that. You can just pick it right up, move it wherever you want to. No plugs, no anything. Really, really simple. So now let's go and turn this thing on. Now, I should have put the batteries in before I put the water in because as you can see, the batteries go on the bottom of it, but we'll just pop these right on in. Two and three. So as you can see, it just made all of this come on. Now if I hit mode, let's see what it does. Okay, so like we're on the clock right now. We hit set and we can set the hour. All right, so it's seven o'clock and then we hit set and then we'll go over here to the minutes and we'll just go to 7.54. It's about 7.54 anyway. So now if we hit sound, would you just listen to that? pure sound that just so distorted sound that just sounds so good okay but honestly i mean for this little bitty thing it doesn't sound that bad i mean it does sound really really distorted now does it have multiple sounds i'm really not sure i would say it does okay now that's not that bad that's actually not that bad. Like, if I left it on a sound, that's what I would leave it on. And check this out. It actually has a little bitty timer, so eventually the sound would go off anyways. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then you can see it's got the date and also the day, which I'm not going to change all that because you get the gist of it. But as far as the pump and the lighting, uh, let's check this out. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn on the light. Right. Nothing's going on. What, what's going on here? Let's try the pump. Hello? Okay. Well, nothing's going on. I don't know what's going on. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious right now? Look at this. Okay, now this is going to really, really irritate me because I said there was no wires involved. And the thing that makes this tank so easy and simple is that there's no wires. But you actually have to use this USB for the light and the pump to work. So I plugged it up with the USB, and as you can see, the light is now on. And I mean, it's a decently bright light for just having six LEDs. Now let's see if the water will start going. Here we go. Yes, sir. And as you can see right there, I'm going to turn the lights off here in a second. But that actually turned on some of the little bitty LEDs that are mounted in the bottom of this thing. And if we turn that off, look at that. That's pretty cool right there. Now, as far as the actual alarm clock goes, I'm pretty sure you would just hit mode like that. And as you can see, it comes up as alarm. Now, if you hit set, just like that, you can actually change the hour. You can make it go up or down. Hit set again. You can change the minutes. You can make it like, you know, 5.30, 6.30 in the morning, you know, whenever. Hit set again, and look at this. You can actually change how long you want the snooze to go. That That's pretty cool. So we want to go really, really high with it. You know, you want like a... Like a 30 second snooze. Well, there you go. Back to mode, and now you're back on the home screen. So that is a really, really cool little feature this thing has. But what little aquarium has its own little bitty faucet? Look at that. Just listen to it. That is actually a really, really relaxing sound. Listen to that. Much better sound than the freaking built-in sounds they have in this thing. But that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to shut this light off now. And let's see what it looks like with just the little bitty built-in LEDs. Look at that. So it's like blue and green. Oh, wait a minute. Is that thing changing colors? It changes colors. It actually does. Okay, so that one over there with the far side light is just blue, but this one 
is actually changing colors. Look at that. But it's pretty cool because you could actually use this thing as like a night light. You know, you could leave it on with just the two little bitty LEDs during the night. And then if you had to get up for something right in the middle of the night, you could switch on that light so you know you could see good. And check it out. You can point this thing anywhere you want. You can turn it any which way. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. And it's, you know, like I said, it's decently bright. But for 40 bucks, this is a really, really cool little product. I don't want to call it a fish tank because what I keep fishing this, no. I cannot get over this little faucet though. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Quick update on Chung as he is looking and doing really, really good after all them crickets that he ate in the last video. His hump is starting to get bigger and bigger, which is really, really good because the bigger it gets, you know, just the overall better he looks because a big flower horn should have, you know, a pretty big nuchal hump on its head. But overall, he is looking really, really good right now. Thank you guys for watching today's video. And if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And also, let me know your thoughts on the little aquarium slash alarm clock and if you would get it. Anyways, guys, let me said. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.